Hello my beautiful babes, hope everyone is enjoying their day so far. So today I'm bringing you all my version of a Vogue inspired makeup routine where I'll be duplicating some of Lori Harvey's skincare routine and makeup tips while incorporating a few others of my own. As you may already be able to tell, this is not your average or typical Vogue makeup tutorial. And it's no hidden secret that I talk about physical beauty tips with you all all the time on my channel. Like, come on, I have like one, two, three, four, five, ten too many videos account how to lay your installs how to get your face looking flawless enhancing your outer beauty like we cover it all on this channel but babe if there is one thing i have learned in this life is that we need more inner beauty in this world today's video we're tackling inner beauty secrets my experience with finding inner beauty what inner beauty even is for those of us who need a few little reminders i'm not judging okay this is a safe place i promise and lastly qualities that you should strive to possess as a woman of beauty both on the inside and out I'm starting off with some skincare to prep my face and I'll be following Lori's routine in the same exact order that she did because whatever she be doing to her skin to make her skin look like that I want to do it too okay and my skin has been lacking but I'm sure you guys can tell that already but if you watch her video you'll notice that she used a lot of unreleased products from her skincare line that she is currently curating so until those products are out which I cannot wait to get my hands on I'm gonna be using what I have for now all the products I use will be shown right here on the screen and mentioned in the description box as well well just in case I don't say them here and there but child I have a lot to get off my chest but before I do quick disclaimer I know this topic of inner beauty is contradictory to the few layers of makeup that I'll be applying in a little bit but I hope the message still gets across to you in a manner in which you still get the gist of what we're talking about she'll get and also you know let's be real as humans we have the attention span of a fetus especially with media nowadays so let me at least have something to keep your eyes on the screen okay so inner beauty when it comes to my observations and recent gatherings of inner beauty or lack thereof should i say i guess i'm just overseeing how certain character traits can diminish someone's beauty like a lot of us are becoming so consumed with our outer beauty you know putting more focus on our appearance and keeping up with social status that we're forgetting what real beauty means you know like the beauty that you're left with when you're stripped of all your worldly possessions like sis what's going to be left of you when you don't have your cells and your christian dior diors Oh, okay, I'll wait. But for real though, we need to understand that when you have an ugly character towards other people, you have officially tainted the beauty that God has blessed you with. And quite frankly, I am tired of seeing the prettiest girls with the ugliest personalities. And the best way to put it, inner beauty is what can be experienced through someone's character rather than their appearance. You know, it's something that goes far beyond what people are able to see on your Instagram feed or even what you yourself are capable of seeing standing on the opposite side of that mirror. It is not your weight. It is not your waist size. It's not even how well you can do a soft glam makeup look. But I mean, it is true. Like, let's be real. Physical appearance can be a bonus for most people. But have y'all ever noticed how it's easily overlooked when other traits are brought into the picture? Like, for example, like, think of that mean girl during your high school or even college days chances are she's an extremely beautiful girl but with her arrogant and vain personality traits when you think of her the first thing that comes to mind isn't related to her beauty at all but rather her appalling and off-putting characteristics it's so funny because i had plans to make this video all about makeup but the way god works it's been so heavy on my heart to share what i can on this topic plus i talk about makeup all the time so you know let me talk about something else that i like okay also i just wanted to point out that i know some of my babes weren't a big fan of the double recorded makeup videos and stuff like that but don't worry i saw your comments and hopefully with this one you're able to follow along a little better so yeah i'm choosing to use this video to focus on what it means to possess and continuously possess internal traits that allow you to use your inner beauty to help others appreciate your outer beauty a glow from within is what we're gonna call it okay <laughs> but look babes I am not here to do the pastor's work, okay? So if you know your internal problems far exceed what I am even able to mention in this video, then maybe it's time to further outsource information using other resources. <clears throat> Here's a Bible. But no, all jokes aside, okay, for real, for real. To me, in order to fully obtain that overall beauty that we're talking about, the requirements can be broken down into two sectors. What you put in and what you put out. It can't be one or the other, okay, don't be cheeky. Both parties have to coexist because when used together, they complement each other so, so well. 
For starters, we have to accept that beauty is more than skin deep. It goes far beyond looks, aesthetics, glamour. You know, beauty consists of the words that you feed yourself, the media you consume, what you feed your spirits, your self-love rituals, your daily routine. You know, a lot of what you put in your body and allow yourself to consume contributes to your overall and outer beauty, you hear me? As you can see, my personality trait is full coverage concealer, so I'm adding a little bit more of that until I'm content, and I just let that sit in for a little while and then I blend it out keeping it concentrated only in the inner parts. Firstly, to appreciate what you put in, you have to release any and every fantasy of what society tells you you must be. Make room for some healthy self-love by releasing any of the toxins. There is no ideal woman. There is no ideal perception of beauty. It's literally all a myth. Start by knowing your value, your worth, knowing that in whatever environment you find yourself in, whether it's the club or the gym or even a room full of socialites, no matter who you are surrounded by, your beauty and self-value does not diminish. Inner beauty is to appreciate yourself. It's going easy on yourself when you've hit a bump on your self-discovery pathway. I'll be the first to tell you, love and appreciation of yourself does not come easily at all. It's a journey, but in the end, you know, be thankful for you, for who you are, your experiences. Forgive yourself for past mistakes. Forgive other people for not knowing how to treat you. And I know this one is very hard because there are currently some people that I'd like to use as a punching bag if I could, trust me. But... In the same breath, inner beauty is being honest with yourself and making necessary changes. Knowing when you could have been a better person to someone, knowing when you've crossed boundaries, or even when you've overplayed your part in someone else's life. Allow yourself to change your mind if you recognize you made a choice that wasn't right for you. And lastly, to close this section off, inner beauty is conquering your negative thoughts. You know, redirecting the flow of thoughts that don't serve nor feed you. The thoughts of comparison, thoughts of regret, the I'm not good enough thoughts, you know, the thoughts that generally lead to episodes or waves of depression, anxiety, anger, tune them out along with the excess noise of your daily life. I wanted to add a bit of depth on my eyes this time around, so I'm using darker colors from this Huda Beauty Shadows Palette. And honestly, just practice self-love as much as you can. Say no to self-doubt, lack of confidence, insecurities. I know these are easier said than done, and if I had the time to, i talk about these on and on. But let's go ahead and move on to the next part. But before we do, I'd like to take some time out to acknowledge the giveaway winner for my 50k exclusive giveaway, okay? The name's on the screen. She will be winning this beautiful self-care kit with a few of my makeup favorites along with whatever makeup she said she would like to win as part of the giveaway rules. I am so happy that she was able to participate and be a part of this journey with me and I'm thankful for everybody else who participated. I love you guys the long way and I cannot wait to have so many more giveaways. But enough said, let's go ahead and get back into these interviews beauty secrets. Depending on how you look at it or who you ask, I feel like this is considerably the more important sector because it directly correlates with and depicts how you treat your own self. Ever heard of the phrase, hurt people hurt people? I feel like the same applies to when you're good to yourself. You know, the more that you put in, the more likely you are to be good to other people around you. You know, your partner, your friends, family, even strangers are subject to your good vibes and energy. I've made the conscious effort to practice this a lot more in the last six months or so, you know, I've appreciated people around me more. I told them how much they mean to me, how grateful I am for them. I've engaged in uncomfortable conversations if it means it'll bring us closer together. I've thanked them, I've complimented them, and I'm not talking about just verbal things, but I've shown these affections through my actions as well. But no, on a serious note, let's get back to the compliments because the simple, you look so good, I love your hair, the, oh my God, what foundation is that? I love it on you. Sis, dish them out. You were literally already thinking it, so why not say it? You know, bless someone's day, even if it's just their evening, put a smile on their face. I really don't know what it is with us girls with sometimes feeling like if we compliment someone so much that they become big headed. So, you know, we go ahead and reserve our compliments, but sis, Giving those compliments here and there does more good in your heart, so definitely make it a habit, like, what's the worst that can come out of it? You know, especially when it's to someone you admire, let that person know, hand them their flowers. One thing they say about admiration is that when it becomes bottled up for so long, it becomes envy. True beauty is being able to be happy for someone else out loud. You know, their confidence, their beauty, their career. Please do not be that girl that hates on somebody else because they're confident or doing well in their department of life. Like, you've literally just lost yourself some cool points for that. Being a spiteful little hater says more about you than it ever will about the other person. <laughs> 
I hope you people are listening, Sha. I just love how deep yet subtle this look is. Like, I was definitely in my bag this day when I was sculpting my face. Look at that. Look at her. Okay? But no, back to this topic though. The thing is, some people will like you, some people won't, and you just have to learn to be okay with that. Understand that being disliked by some people is just a natural byproduct of being your true, genuine self. In other words, baby, you are not for everybody. To close this section off, um, honestly, just be a good person. I don't know why it's so difficult for some people to be good to others, but it's a lot harder to be mean to someone than it is to be nice. Like, you actually have to go out of your way to be a rude and condescending person to other people. You know, how do you think you look always doing cnn report on other people's lives or constantly criticizing other people around you like you can't tell me that you love yourself yet you find it so comfortable to pick at another person over and over again all in all, the message I'm trying to get across is that in a society where we are constantly bombarded with the ideal or quote unquote perfect physical beauty, where we are forced to constantly keep the focus on our outward appearance, you know, trying to keep up with the Lori Harveys and the Kylie Jenners, I mean, it's gonna be very easy to lose touch with their inner self. As you can see, I can't even fully keep up with Lori Harvey's makeup routine. I found beauty in my own routine and I did what worked for me and I will always do what works for me okay period I finished up this look with some setting spray and I put my lashes on off camera to achieve the final look and y'all do not play with me okay like this look is giving bronzed up goddess it's giving tanned up in Tahiti like I am so obsessed with this look one more last and final step to complete this look and while I do that let's go ahead and finish this conversation off so yeah, as I was saying, I just want us to be good for each other, but most importantly, good for ourselves. You know, feed your internal beauty so that your outward glow radiates even brighter. You want to use your inner beauty to help others appreciate your outer beauty. If you guys like makeup therapies where we just chat it up, don't be shy to let me know down below, okay? Let's start up some conversation. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Do you have more tips for us that you'd like to share? You know, let us know down below. But with that being said, Think of someone that you admire and tell them what you love about them. You know, direct that positive energy outwards because there is plenty of that to share. Extraordinary things undoing.